Hello and welcome to the Global Fair Share. My name is Gina Connor from Northern Ireland in the UK and I um, have the privilege of being a part of this group. Uh, today our remit was to use a particular stamp set or a stamp set of your choice and uh, some DSP. So the stamp set that I've chosen to use today and feature is the happiest of birthdays and in particular wishing you the happiest of birthdays. Um, I'm using this as a feature stamp um, for the front of the card and then I'm following it up with It's Your Day for inside the card. Um, the DSP is the Ice Cream Corner DSP. It's gorgeous and I can't wait to use more of it. Uh, the particular paper that I'm actually going to be using is this one. Um, but this little card that I'm making is a great um, way of using up your stash. I'm just going to put this out of the way. Uh, your stash of um, DSP. So here is the envelope with a belly band. I have used the pierced blooms dies. I absolutely love these flowers. I can't use them enough. Um, they've all got this little stitching detail in amongst them. Um, this is what I have here. Um, but I just I just love them. So I've used the pierced bloom dies for um, the card. And the other dies that I've used is the stitch so sweetly. So um, I've used the largest uh, stitched rectangle, scalped rectangle and this particular die here is for my belly band. So again, it's stitched and my belly band. I'm going to open it off. Um, I've gone for uh, Coastal Cabana, I think is the name of the, no, Bermuda Bay. This is Bermuda Bay, sorry, Bermuda Bay um, card. But you could use DSP if you wanted to. But I've used the DSP for my card. And the DSP is literally the base of my card. And I've used card um, to strengthen it. Um, the Bermuda Bay on this side. And then an extra layer of DSP on this particular one as well. So... Um, but we'll cut those out as it is. So the main, the ink um, that I'm using is Bermuda Bay and then I've used the flowers as decor. The stitch scallop edge is from the Meant to Be um, bundle. It's with all the hearts and everything but um, again I used it just as to give a little bit of detail. If you don't have it it doesn't matter. You can have it just with the straight edge. It's a, it doesn't really matter. So I shall go ahead and show you how we make this card, okay? So first up is the DSP and I'm going to cut and score it. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I might need to raise my camera up a little bit. But my DSP measures um, seven inches by eight and a quarter. So that's the measurements that we're going to need. I'm sticking with um, inches today because I'm using a 12 inch DSP and I just thought it would be easier to use for, your, for you. So measurement seven by eight and a quarter. So we'll go to seven first. Like so. And that's it. So you will need this um, piece for uh, your belly band. So seven by eight and a quarter. Okay. Now what I will say to you is because I'm using um, DSP and it really doesn't matter what way it goes. But say you were using this particular one and you really need it to be uh, the right way up. Um, make sure that your eight and a quarter is the width. Um, so do you understand what I'm saying? Um, so that makes sure that these are up the right way. Okay. So you need to be wider going across and then narrow going down. Okay. So that's one little tip. Uh, again, keep this because you never know when you're going to need it. And then I'm going to score at two and a quarter. And... Make sure you put your cutter out of the way. Two and a quarter and six. 
okay there we go so that's your base card now you are going to need um for the piece that i have at the side this bit here it measures two and a half by seven so this is still seven inches wide so you just need to measure two and a half across and cut it like so and that's what you will need for um the other bit and the belly band um i have already cut ahead in advance so that's um what we need for our base card so um use a bone folder and give it a little crease like so okay just make sure it's creased well and so left goes first and then right like that okay so i'll just let you see what i have done now this is the bit that um i have just to break up the front of the card um i brought the insert to the back so i'm just i'm not i'm not going to um scalp this side again like i have here um i'm just going to um stick it on ahead of time so you need because it's a little bit wider than maybe it's the same size it's the same size so i adhere to the base of the card to the where I'm actually sticking and I'm going to have both of them because that's just gone a little bit new pot and it just comes out a little bit fast and thick to start off with. Okay. So if you have DSP, when, if you're anything like me, we have hordes of it. Um, this is a great card for getting through that DSP. Um, my team and I have been challenging each other uh, with coming up with ideas or coming up with DSP so that we get through it all. So there we go. That's um, the front of the card. And then this side here, I have cut away in advance. Uh, I've done a little bit of... Um, prep and so the right side of my card again is two and a half by seven and I have done the stitching on this side um, with this one just to give it a, a little edge so um, add a little bit of glue like so and to the front make sure you agree it just gives a little bit of a finish to that like so there we go okay and my white insert for i'm going to just lift these off um so it doesn't get too cluttered now my white insert for the middle of the card is um six and three quarters by three and a half and i'm going to use uh, my corner rounder punch and i'm just going to corner rounder around the, the um give a little bit of detail like so okay now i am going to stamp on this because if i make a mess i can turn it over to the other side so I'm using my Bermuda, Bermuda Bay ink pad and this stamp is your day, enjoy it. Now, um, I don't know whether you can actually see, but it, it has got um, detail on the script. So it's not that you haven't stamped it properly when you see what it looks like. Um, do you see what I mean? It's as if the pen's running out but that's the way it's meant to be okay and i'm going to just add this to the middle of my card the 
great thing about using DSP is it takes you out of your normal um, comfort zone with colours. Um, I'm sure if you've seen any of my work, I sort of would go for pastels quite readily. But um, it's making me use Coastal Cabana today. No, Bermuda Bay today, not Coastal Cabana. So that's the insert of my card. Now I'm not going to go into the detail of how I've decorated it because it really is up to you how you would like to decorate it. I have um, cut out um, a load of the, the colours that are to do with my DSP. So that's the one thing I would recommend is bring out the colours that you have within your DSP. So I have a mixture of Old Olive, Bermuda Bay and again Whisper White. Um, I think I even have a little bit of pool party in here because I sort of thought this was um a little bit of pool party as well. So, but you can you can decorate your paper um as, or your card as uh, how you would like to. Um, but I'm saying just I'm in love with the Pierce blooms, so that's why I've used the Pierce blooms. Now, so for the front of my card, um, I'm going to stamp onto. Um, my is thick whisper white. I've used it because it's it's a little bit firmer and uh, it feels a little bit better than using just the ordinary uh, whisper white. So because this is a big stamp, um, I normally take my stamps to the ink pad, but today because it's a bigger one, I'm actually going to stamp to my ink pad to my stamp and make sure that it's covered. All over like so and now we are going to see if this works live on camera okay and just press down make sure the center is well pushed down okay for a bigger stamp um, and there we go okay so I'm going to um, Place my sentiment sort of in the middle and that means I'm going to sort of eyeball it so from there and then down just move it across to where you want it to be uh, lengthwise and then okay and then maybe to about there okay how I sort of adhere the glue and then I'm going to put it on the centre of my card like that okay oops as I said I have decorated it with a few flowers you can decorate it with whatever you want maybe you want to just leave it plain because it's quite colourful as it is um but that's very basically how the card looks. Simple, using DSP. Okay. Now you can use another colour um, or page in your DSP suite. Um, I needed the same sheet for my project because I've already used one to make the um, sample for. So I needed one to make for, uh, for today. So... Um, I have just used um, the Bermuda Bay card and um, it makes quite a firm envelope. Nice. So the envelope is 8 by 9.5 inches, okay? And along the 9.5, you score at 2 and a quarter and six and a quarter okay and then you get your bone folder and just make sure that it's nice and creased so this envelope is wide enough to use tape at the sides and still have room for your card but I'm going to round the corners of my flap before I stick it down. So. Like so. Like that. 
and then um, I'm going to add some tear and tear. So put it as close to the edge as you possibly can. Add some. my envelope as easy as that and my belly band okay consists of my base card it's basically for white um i sort of wanted it to stand out against the bermuda bay and then i'm using um so my belly band is one and three quarters by nine and a quarter and that's just the thin whisper white um, because we're going to crease it over. I didn't want it all to be too bulky. And then my DSP is one and five bits by nine and a quarter. So I'm going to stick it on first of all. And I'm just taking edge to edge at the bottom. Like so. There we go. And I'll show you how I crease. So I'm going to take the center of the card to, or the edge of the card to my flap here. And Make sure it's all nice and straight using my grid line, like so. And I'm just going to score along the edge of where the, it's going to fold over. So I've scored it and it's like so. Okay, now keeping it straight as well. Now I'm going to use my bone folder and make a crease there, like so. And that just makes sure that um, that it's nice and um, crisp fold. So I'm going to use a little bit of tape as well for this um, edge as well. So I think it's better to actually put the card inside your envelope before you attach your belly band because you do want it to be able to move um, so you don't want it too tight and because if it's too tight it won't slide on and off. So um, maybe a wee bit tighter in there. Okay, and as I said, I have, I'm not going to decorate it today um, because that's what it looks like there. And as I said, if you have other flowers that you want to use or um, other stamps that you want to stamp maybe on this, then um, that would be good too. So this actually, this label, um stitch label just fits nicely in on on that so i sort of just eyeball it that's halfway halfway um another piece of tape on that and this then covers up the seam this is why i brought the seam to the front of it because this is actually going to cover up where and um, what i'm doing is just put a little bit of tape on that and I'm at the end of my roll now so I'm going to have to put a little bit of glue on the bottom one like that. and then it just attaches 
to my belly band. So, making sure that everything's centre, like that, okay. And then I can slide off, like so, okay. So, I hope you have enjoyed my tutorial today. Um, go and see what 12 by 12 papers that you have that you could make these cards with. Um, stamping up, have coordinating card and coordinating inks to go with your DSPs. So your projects, no matter what paper you use, should, should turn out really well because of that. Um, I mean, I never would have thought I'd been using Bermuda Bay for flowers, but it just, it tones in really well. So that's another birthday card made for the box. Um, so thank you very much for joining me today. Um, the lives go on for the rest of the day. Uh, we have a bit of a break, I think, after me. And then we're over to um, the USA for some more projects and crafting this afternoon. So thank you very much. See you again soon. Bye bye.